right, so question uh, 5-12, a ductile material has a property of uh, tensile yield stress of 60 kpsi and uh, compression. Is this, oh, sorry, tension and compression. The compression is 75 kpsi. Uh, using the ductile coulomb Morse theory, determine the factor of safety from the states of plane stress given in problem uh, 5-3, and it's shown below. Okay, uh, so for ductile moral, uh, Coulomb moral theory, this is the table over here, basically lists out all the three cases. And this is for finding a you know, factor of safety. This is just telling you, okay, like what's gonna happen. Like this is, this will definitely be bigger than ST, like these two will be bigger than one, etc. But yeah, um, so first you, you, you calculate you find the principal stress and then compare which case it is and then uses the equation uh, respectively. So for A, since shear is not given, so we can assume, uh, well, we know that this is zero, so we know that A, since shear, uh, shear stress is zero, so it's already in the principal state, so we already know that, okay, so X equals stress A and stress y equals stress b right so both of these uh 25 is bigger than zero and 15 is bigger than zero so this is case one right case one then we use the equation of n equals st so tension uh divided by stress a right in this case what's st so syt basically uh it's 60 kpsi over stress A, which is 25, right, KPSI, and that's it. This should give you 2.4, right, factor of safety of 2.4. Okay, and that is it. Uh, for, I don't know, maybe we'll do one here. Okay, so for this one as well, we, we know that, okay, well, shear stress is not given, so we know, okay, definitely zero. So if it's zero, then they are in principal stress. They're already in principal stress state, principal state. Um, so X stress X equals stress A and then stress Y equals stress B. Um, this is, so A is bigger than zero and B is smaller than zero, which is case two, right? So we have to use case two, uh, in this case, which is stress A, that is, uh, 15 over 60, right, minus uh, negative 15 uh, divided by 75, right? This thing gives you one over the uh, factor of safety, which uh, I th in the end, it gives you 2.22, right? And that is the uh, fact, uh, Safety factor, factor of safety. Okay, uh, for C, so now we're given the uh, shear, shear stress, right? So, which means that, okay, now we are not in the principal state, right? Now we're in a random state. Um, it's being rotated in a, in a moral circle. You know that you're not over here right now. You're somewhere probably here. Well, Y is zero. So, you know, this is why, right? And then negative 10, which is positive, right? Negative here. So it's it's somewhere like that. And then you have to find the principal uh, stress. It depends whether the top is positive or, or bottom is negative. It depends on, you know, what your rotation is. Um, but as long as you follow the positive or negative that you designed it to be, then you should you should be good. Yeah, it could, it looks like this or this, right? Of the circle. Okay. So, uh, first method obviously is moral circle. Well, what I've just used the second wall, you can use the transformation equation. I think in this situation, it's going to be easier, right? The transformation equation. Uh, let me just write it on the side. So a B, right? They equals, uh, stress X plus stress Y divided by two and plus square root of stress X minus stress Y divided by two square. And then plus uh, the um, shear stress squared. Okay, 
Um, for this equation, so for C, uh, where is yellow here? Uh, we know that Y is zero, right? So this is zero, zero. Um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna write the whole equation, but you know, you plug in twenty into here, and then you plug a negative ten into here. In the end, the uh, with oh sorry, it's plus or minus, right? Because it's um, principal stress A and B. So I think principal stress A, you're gonna get uh, 24.1 kilopounds per square inch. And then stress B is um, negative 4.14 KP SI. And again, this is case two again, right? This is case two, right? A is bigger than zero and B is smaller than zero. So we still have to use that equation, right? This one over here, um, which A, um, 24.1 over the uh, yield strength of uh, tension, which is uh, 60 minus negative uh, 4.14 divided by 75, right? This whole thing equals one over the factor of safety, which in the end, uh, you should get about 2.19, okay? Uh, for D, again, this is not in a principal stress. This is, you know, we're just in plane stress. Um, we have to use this equation again, but it, this time uh, stress Y is not zero, right? Because it's given. Plug everything in. Uh, you should get stress A equals to B 17.7. Right, KPSI, and then stress B, you should get negative 14.72 KPSI. Okay, so this is another case two uh, situation, right? A is bigger than zero, B, uh, B is smaller than zero. It's case two, again, 17.7 um, over 60 minus negative 14.72. Uh, over 75 equals 1 over n. Okay, and for this one, I believe you get, hold on, I just need to find my um, homework set. Oh, right here. Okay, so for this is for D. You would get um, zero point n equals zero uh, two point oh three, right? And then for E, um, again, plug everything in. So. A uh, first, sorry. Principal stress A equals negative nine kpsi, and then stress B, yeah, you plug into this equation, transformation equation, or more circle. Uh, B equals negative thirty nine kpsi, right? And this is case three, right? Because A and B are both smaller than zero. Okay, and then so n equals negative c. Compression, right? Uh, yield compression stress divided by stress B, um, which in this case is 75 over B, which is uh, negative, negative 7, 39, right? Um, and now your N should give you 1.92. Okay, so this one. You kind of just need to, I don't know, draw a little table. That's what I usually do. Uh, our professor is really kind enough to provide us with this table for, you know, the coulomb moro theory. I think for brittle, there's going to be a modified and regular one, which you're going to need more tables. But I yeah, just have it there uh, and, and apply it more. And I think everything else comes, you know, pretty easily. So, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Good luck on your studies. I'll see you in my future videos.